El aguajal es un hábitat muy especial en, acá en la Amazonía peruana. Y como su nombre dice, aguajal, porque tiene bastantes plantas de aguaje. El aguaje es una palmera que genera unos frutos y que la gente acá en la Amazonía peruana depende mucho de ese recurso. Para darte un número aproximado, en Iquitos, son 5.000 familias que dependen directamente del aguaje. Yo doy gracias a Dios que con ese producto he podido dar el alimento a mis hijos. Sí. Cuando había po poca población amazónica, cortar un aguaje, cortar dos aguajes, dos, tres, tres plantas de aguaje, pues no, no tenía un, un, un impacto negativo. Pero cuando tenemos una población de Iquitos de... 700 mil, 800 mil habitantes, ya la demanda es mayor. Entonces los hombres del bosque y mujeres del bosque ya cortan a la planta. Y no cortan uno, no cortan dos ni tres, sino cortan cientos de árboles. Existen aguajales que están en turberas, en donde existe una gran acumulación de, de carbono. ¿Cómo podemos conservar esos, esas turberas que están bajo el aguajal? The current scientific knowledge on tropical peatlands is still very limited and, uh, and South American peatlands clearly deserve much more attention. Uh, tropical peatland swamps are rich sources of carbon. Peatlands uh, by default are generally wet, which prevents oxygen entry, which prevents oxidation and loss of carbon. If those peatlands are drained or converted, this carbon is exposed to atmosphere oxygen and it can be decomposed and it will be released as CO2 or other, other greenhouse gases. The project aims at improving the scientific knowledge on carbon stocks and greenhouse gas fluxes in undisturbed peatlands of the Amazon basin. Our aim is also to assess whether these ecosystems are under land use change threat and how degradation and deforestation would affect the stocks of carbon and the emissions of greenhouse gases. So how much is your reading there now? It's 4.75. To measure the carbon stocks in a system, we use the standard protocol, which measures three components, above ground biomass, the biomass in the down woody debris, and the carbon stocks in the soil. So for me, I think we need to have rigor. We want also to test uh, new methods, and uh, here at this uh, Kistokocha site, we are going to use a terrestrial yeah. LIDAR for scanning all the vegetation, so the above ground vegetation. Yeah. And the That's idea behind that. is to develop allometric relationships no. for carbon accounting no. without no. cutting any tree. We need to develop a method to estimate the, the carbon stocks uh, along, the, along the time. And the the aim of uh, my PhD research is to measure from a really high detail in low scale, in a small scale, like plot level, and calculate uh, biomass and biomass change using terrestrial LIDAR, and then uh, link um, these changes of the carbon stock that we measure on the ground with these devices with the changes that we can detect and measure, quantify with uh, satellite imagery uh, at different scales. Además de matar a la planta, destruir ese hábitat que es muy importante para la flora y fauna, estamos también destruyendo un hábitat que de conservación de la biodiversidad. Tropical peatlands and mangrove ecosystem represent an important component of global uh, climate change adaptation and mitigation strategies. We SWAM project team hope that this all hard work collecting soil samples and measuring, measuring trees will, will eventually give us the, the number of carbon stocks which can be used by policy makers, national governments, local regional managers, an idea of how important these ecosystems are, and they can factor this when they do planning at national or regional level. 
no es solamente conservarlo por conservarlo, sino que tiene un rol sumamente importante desde el punto de vista ecológico, económico y social. No solo asumir que un ecosistema es existiendo o operando en aislación, todo es eventualmente conectado. Y hablamos del cambio climático, el CO2, es un gas y no hay no boundaries, no borders a él. Si lo releases, la emisión, sea en Indonesia o en los Estados Unidos, afecta a todos.